What's going on other truck drivers? This is your boy Sean with Trucking Life with Sean. Today's video is why I work for Rosedale Transport. You know, I've been driving for 15 years and people say, Sean, you know, you might make more money going to this person. Like you might make more, you're a trainer. You know, you can do a lot more and do this than that. You know, I make pretty decent money where I'm at. But you know, yeah, truth of the matter is I could make more money driving somewhere else. But it's not about the money. It's about everything else that goes along. So let me tell you why I work for Rosedale Transport. And you know, you can decide wherever you want to work for, that's on you. Uh, I've been driving for 15 years, and you know, Rosedale's not paying me to do this disclaimer. They're not paying me a dime to make this video. A lot of people are asking me, they ask me questions, Sean, why do you work for Rosedale Transport? Why don't you work for, you know, Snyder or Swift or JB Hunt or, you know, why don't you work for anywhere else? Why do you work for Rosedale? Uh, and so I, I do my videos based on the comments that people give me. Now, I'm driving right now, so it's not made by me the best quality video, so I'll do the best I can with it. But I wanted to get back to your answers. Somebody asked me that earlier in the comments, and I try to make all my videos about what y'all asked me about. All right, so why do I work for Rosedale Transport? Number one, I started here right out of school 15 years ago. I worked here three and a half years, left. I went to Heartland Express, I tried doing local stuff, I tried a hot shot, and I, and I come back here. The reason why I like working for Rosedale Transport, now this could change. This could change next year, it could change next month, but right now, I'm back with them. I've been back with them a couple years now, and uh, so all together I put in five and a half of my 15 years with Rosedale. I like them because they do what they say, they're honest, and that means a lot to me. It all ain't about the money. Uh, when I go home, I, I know when I'm going home, if I have a doctor's appointment, I don't miss doctor's appointments. I don't have to miss children's birthdays, and I don't have to miss you know, certain things. Now, you know, there is times where I, I don't make it right back on time. It might be the day before, the day after, but majority of the time, I get home when I need to get home. I have a relationship with my dispatcher, and if I didn't have a relationship with my dispatcher, I could change to another dispatcher, and I'd have a relationship with them. Uh, they have an open door policy. Whatever you're going through, you're allowed to talk about it. Uh, most of the people there are ex truck drivers. The safety director, Giles Lowe is his name. He he came started trucking a few years after me, and he was a new driver. And then he went into recruiting, and then he became the safety manager. So our safety manager uh, was a truck driver ten years ago. So that 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 means a lot because he understands somebody you can talk to, somebody you communicate with. Uh, the main person over our dispatch, Chris Beals, he was an owner-operator, then was, was a driver, million mile safe driver, coming as a dispatcher, and now he's over-dispatch, uh, operation manager, whatever you'll call him. Uh, if I have a problem, I can go to him and he understands. So it means a lot that I'm not a number, and if I'm going through an issue, I can call my company, and I can understand, or they can understand what I'm going through. I say, hey, listen, this is what's happening. Calm down, calm down. I understand, Sean. If I have a problem with the shipper, more than likely the nighttime dispatcher or the dispatcher or the operator, or somebody, they've actually delivered there. They know what that shipper's like in and out. They know the truck stop I'm at. They know uh, the traffic that I'm dealing with. I don't have to explain, uh, I'll never make it there because I'm in traffic, or I'll never get this done because of this. So Rosedale Transport, that means a lot. And in the description below, I'll put a link um, so you can actually call Rosedale if you're interested. If you're a professional driver and you're tired of being out on the road for months at a time and you want to get home, they get me home every week. I don't have to do my 34-hour restart on the road. I do it at home. And you know what? I got a friend, and we're out of Georgia, but I've got another driver I trained, and he lives in North Dakota. He gets his 34-hour restart in North Dakota. Got another driver. Lives down in Florida. He does his 34 hours in Florida. Got another driver in Mississippi. He does his 34 hours in Mississippi. So they get you home. Uh, they get you home in a time matter. Now, that don't mean that'll work for you. You have to call, you know, they'll be honest with you. They'll tell you, you know, if you're in the hiring area, you know, if you're in Arizona or California, they're not going to get you home, of course not. Uh, but, you know, if you're out here in the East Coast, they, they do the best to get you home. Uh, I, I drive a good truck. You know, they, they keep up. They got a good shop. Uh, you know, everything's good. I, li I like that. I like the communication that I have with them. Uh, I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I told my dispatcher, I said, look, you know, normally I'd stay out a little, you know, five days, get home. But this time I said, you know, I had a training with me. I said, I want to stay out nine days and then go home for a day and then go right back out Wednesday, Thursday. But I want to be home Friday. But we're off on the holidays. 
How many truck drivers out there that don't think you don't? We get home for Christmas. That's amazing, right? So, you know, I get home for Christmas, I get home for Thanksgiving, and I get paid for it. So why wouldn't you want to work for a company like that? So that's the answer your question. Why don't I work for Rosedale? Let me give you another example. Uh, I caught COVID last spring, right? I was sick. Lady in the human resources office, her name is Roxy. She's been there for a long time. She's a sweet lady. She's worked there 40, 50 years. Uh, I got COVID and I was really sick. You know, instead of my dispatcher saying, well, you know, just sleep in your truck, whatever, whatever, whatever. They bought me a hotel room and for a week and paid for it. They did. They paid for my time. They didn't pay me for being off, but they paid for my hotel. And I thought that was really cool. Didn't take it out of check. They wanted to make sure that I was okay. That means a lot. So if you come to work for Rosedale, you work for a family or in a company, I have nothing bad to say about them right now. Never, ever have. That don't mean I won't. And if I ever do, y'all be the first to know. I tell you the good and the ugly with trucking life. Like I said, I don't get paid for advertising for Rosedale. Uh, my channel's not even monetized. But I tell the facts. I tell it like it is. Um, we have a lot of drivers here that are babied, I guess you could say, or entitled. That's the only bad thing is they kind of they kind of get us, you know, what we're used to getting, you know. We have it easy here. Let's put it that way. So, anyway, I'll put it in the description below. Uh, call them. If you do call them, that boy Sean sent you truck alive for Sean. You know, I, you know, if you're an experienced driver, I do get a referral fee. Uh, if you're a new truck driver, they may they may not give me one. You know, I don't know how that goes, but. Anyway, they do hire right out of school if you're new. Uh, but if you're interested in Rosedale, check it out. Appreciate you joining. It's Trailer Live with Sean. Let's get it.